I can remember when I first came to Washington back in about 1970, a long time ago, we thought we had a huge success story when we reached $10 billion in U.S. agricultural exports. Uh, this year it will be $137 billion. That is what has happened uh, in the last 40 years. No other industry uh, has a, a track record of that nature. In addition to that, whereas almost everything in the American economy is struggling in terms of trying to achieve a trade surplus worldwide, and especially in a, a trade surplus with, uh, with China, uh, American agriculture is doing awfully well in this regard. We'll have a trade surplus in, in American agriculture of $45 billion uh, in 2011, and we will export $20 billion of U.S. agricultural products to China, which has now become our largest market uh, for American farm products. Uh, most people uh, seem to assume that there aren't many farmers left in the United States today. In fact, the number that one typically reads in the press is that two, uh, is that farmers are 2% of the American economy. Some would suggest that uh, that's a high number, that it may be as low as 1% of, of the farm economy. But the fact uh, is that uh, omits uh, the requirement that something has to be done with farm products once they leave the farm. We have a lot of people in the United States who are involved in the processing of farm products. In total, U.S. agriculture from uh, uh, farm gate to, uh, to kitchen counter uh, employs uh, uh, something in the vicinity of 20 million people, which is probably you know, six or seven times as many as are employed in the U.S. automobile industry. We think automobiles are pretty important to us as Americans, but we ought to uh, recognize that uh, food is pretty important to us as well, and we have a lot of jobs in the food industry of America.